Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be showing my top 10 favorite Pokemon cards in the Ultra Prism set. Now this video is geared towards collectors. I did do a video showing the 15 most competitive cards from Ultra Prism previously. That video was geared mainly towards competitive players of the TCG. Now I have done top 10 videos for all the newly released sets out there. Definitely take a look at those videos if you have not already. So to kick this list off, my 10th favorite card in Ultra Prism would be Drampa. And the main reason that this card is in the list is because I like this holofoil foil pattern best of all 13 rare holo cards in the set. For the most part, holo cards in this set are a little bit harder to see, especially on camera. This holofoil foil pattern really stands out. And something to note too, I don't, yep, you can see it on camera a little bit. The whole card has a holofoil foil pattern to it. So not really that great in the TCG, but a beautiful looking card for collectors. My ninth favorite card would be Missing Clover. This is a secret rare trainer. I believe there are six different secret rare trainer and special energy cards in this set. The reason this card makes my list is because I did pull this card from a pack. And this card is very intriguing. I don't think this card will get much run in competitive decks, but it says the following. You may play four Missing Clover cards at once. If you played one card, look at the top card of your deck. If you played four cards, take a prize card. So very intriguing that it allows you to take a prize card in battle. I just can't see someone using four spots in your deck to use Missing Clover with. My eighth favorite card would be Cyrus Prism Star. Mainly at this point in time, this is an error card just because the beginning text here is incorrect. It should state that you have to have a water or metal type Pokemon in your active Pokemon spot, not just in play. And then it says your opponent chooses two bench Pokemon and shuffles the others. And all cards attach them into their deck. So it is useful in the TCG, but the main reason this card is in my list is because it is an error card the text is incorrect. My seventh favorite card would be the best Prism Star in this set, in my opinion, in Solgaleo Prism Star. I am a big fan of Solgaleo, as you'll see in a moment, but this card is great for a metal type deck. Radiant Star accelerates metal type energy, and then Corona Impact can do major damage for a non GX or EX card. So, this is a great card to pair with Dusk Mane Necrozma. My sixth favorite card in this set would be one of two gold color GX Full Art Secret Rares. Now these cards are very tough to pull from packs. Between the two, I like Solgaleo a little bit more. But just a beautiful looking card. I was able to pull the Solgaleo from a GX Battle Boost booster box when I opened up that Japanese booster box. So that one is a little bit better in my opinion. But this is reprinted from the Sun and Moon base set. Just a beautiful looking card overall. This one is worth about $40. Getting into the top five now. My fifth favorite card would be Glaceon GX Full Art. My favorite color is actually blue, so this card really stands out. But this GX card is one of the best GX cards in the Ultra Prism set, mainly because of its Freezing Gaze ability. Just a great card overall and a beautiful looking card for a collector like myself. My fourth favorite card in this set would be Lily Full Art. Now I was able to pull this card directly from a pack, I believe in my 50 booster pack opening. It is one of the better supporter cards in this set and a beautiful looking card overall. It says draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. If it's your first turn, draw cards until you have eight cards in your hand. So if you're able to use this card the first turn of the game, it can really get a lot of cards into your hand and allow you to set up your bench Pokemon very quickly. My third favorite card in this set would be Duskmane Necrozma GX. Now Duskmane Necrozma was the first deck that I tried to build in Ultra Prism. This is a very powerful attacking Pokemon. Two moves that both do over 220 damage. So this is one strong Pokemon. You can attach something like a Fighting Fury Belt to this card, make it have a monstrous HP, and then just do even more damage. Love the silver background too. And something you'll notice here, I definitely prefer the full art cards over the GX Rainbow Rare. In my opinion, the full art cards just look a lot better. My second favorite card in this set would be the most valuable card in Ultra Prism in Cynthia Full Art. It is a very good supporter card overall, 
but I really like this card. Artistically, it really stands out with that purple background. Reminds me of the Vikings, my favorite team in the NFL. A little yellow and purple on there. But just a great looking card. If only I could pull this card from a pack. Had to pay, I believe, about $65 for this card. And then my favorite card in the Ultra Prism set would be the other gold-colored GX Full Art Secret Rare in Solgaleo GX. Like I said, I do own this card in the Japanese form as well. Just one of the most beautiful looking cards I've ever seen and so happy to have this card in my collection. Such a great card. It does have a good ability on it, Ultra Road. It allows you to switch your active Pokemon at any time, which is essential in today's game. But there you have it. There are my top 10 Pokemon in the Ultra Prism set as far as collectability goes. Again, like I mentioned, I did do a 15 most competitive Pokemon cards video from the Ultra Prism set. You should definitely take a look at. Other than that, thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.